Welcome back. Problem 6-64. This problem is taken from chapter number 6 that is bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hitler. Statement is the axle of freed car is subjected to wheel loading of 20 kips. If it is supported by two channel bearing at C and D, determine the maximum bending stress developed at the center of axle. Your diameter is 5.5 inch. So you can see this is the axle of freed car and the, these wheels are subjected to 20 kN loads. There is a general bearing at C and D clear. So you have to determine the maximum bending stress at the mid of the, at the center of the axle. Diameter is 5.5 inch. So let's start with the solution. So if you remove this general bearing at C clear so there will be a reaction force that will be taken as downward because these two forces are upward so that is represented as rc and if you remove this bearing at point d so you will be having a reaction force which will be presented as rd so we will find this rc and rd by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point C first moment will be this 20 kips into perpendicular distance is this 10 and this is producing counterclockwise it will be positive. The second moment about point C will be this 10 20 kips and perpendicular distance is now 70 and it is also producing counterclockwise so it will be positive. The third moment will be due to this RD and now perpendicular distance is 80 and this is counterclockwise so it will be negative. And the sum of all moment about point C must be equal to 0. So I will write 20 into perpendicular distance is 10 plus 20 into perpendicular distance is 70 minus RD into 80 is equal to 0. So we will get 200 plus 1400 is equal to 80 RD clear and rd will be equal to 1600 divided by 80 and that will give you 20 k now this is rd and we can find r c by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see RC is downward, 20 kips is upward, this is upward and this is downward. So I can write minus RC clear plus 20 minus plus 20 and RD is minus 20 is equal to 0. So from here RC will be also equal to 20 kips. You have RC and RD so we can easily move toward uh, shear force and bending moment diagram from where we can get the maximum bending moment at the center. So I will draw the vertical line from the end of this beam. We will solve this question by using two methods. First is this one clear from the end of this beam and there is a horizontal lines which show the length in x in inch on y axis we have vertic shear force that will be in kips let each division is of 10 kips so 10 20 similarly minus 10 minus 20 you can take as per your own scale now you can see at uh, uh, at point c there is a rc which is downward and rc is to min 20 so it will be minus 20 so your first point will be this one clear at point a clear you can see moving from rc till a there is no other shear force it will remain horizontal till this point so let me draw it like this it will be horizontal now at point a we have plus 20 so minus 20 plus 20 will be equal to 0 at this point and shear force will change from minus 20 to 0 okay now moving from point A till point B, there is no other shear force, so it will remain horizontal till this clear and we will get a straight line that will be zero clear 
and at point B we have plus 20. So 0 plus 20 will bring it to plus 20. So it will move toward vertically upward and this will be plus 20. Now moving from point B to D there is no other shear force it will be remain horizontal and at end we have RD which is minus 20 will bring it to 0. So it will be like this. So this will be your shear force diagram. Now by using this shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram and again you can see you have a horizontal line that will show you length in inch and we will have movement on y axis that will be kips into inch let each division is uh, 100 so minus 100 below is low is minus 100 so minus 200 now first area under the shear force diagram is this area and you can see this is rectangular so height is minus 20 and width is 10 inch so minus 20 into 10 will be equal to minus 200 so at this point we have minus 200 so let me plot this point this will be minus 200 now you can see shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this area is negative so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a first degree line and slope will be decreasing so we'll get this line okay now you can see that the this shear force here is zero so bending moment will be remain constant till this point clear so i will make it flat line because it will be constant now here we have another area which is positive and this is equal to 20 into 10 and that is 200 clear so here this is minus 200 plus 200 will bring it to zero at this point clear so this will be your point and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with one degree and this slope this is positive area so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing it will be a straight line first degree straight line so this is your bending moment diagram now from bending moment diagram bending moment diagram you can see that if this is the mid of this beam clear or center of this beam so at center we have maximum bending moment is 200 the absolute value is 200 moment so we will get maximum bending moment is equal to 200 kip into inch and we have been asked to find out the maximum bending stress developed at the center of excel so we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i c because this uh, shaft is circular and the diameter is given so we will find the c c is radius so diameter is 5.5 inch so radius c will be equal to d divided by 2 and 5.5 divided by 2 inch c will be this one so that will give you 2.75 inch clear so bending maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment so maximum bending moment is 200 c is the distance from center till outermost which is the radius clear this is c so it is 2.75 divided by moment of inertia i and i for circular i is equal to pi by 4 c power 4 for circular shaft so you can calculate it pi by 4 into 2.75 power 4 so you can put it over here pi by 4 into 2.75 5 power 4 so when you calculate it you will get maximum bending stress comes out to be 12.2 ksi which is the answer of this question then yeah, now we'll solve it by using another method this was uh, using shear force and bending moment diagram now we'll uh, solve it by using another method for that i will cut 
this shaft at the center and draw the free body diagram so it will look like this that let this will be the shaft clear at this end you have a loading of 20 kips clear and at this point we have a wheel at 10 inch and over which 20 kips is upward 20 kips is upward this distance is 10 inch here and the remaining distance is let me check it the half of this will be 30 clear so the remaining is 30 inch so when you cut it so you will be having a uh, shear force as well as movement clear so we are interested to find out the maximum movement at the center so for that i will apply the equation of equilibrium that sum of all movement about 0.1 is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So about this point we have first movement is 20 into perpendicular distance is 40 and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive. The second movement will be 20 into perpendicular distance is 30 and this is clockwise so it will be negative and third movement which is reaction movement that is clockwise it will be also negative and their sum must be equal to 0 so I will write 20 into 10 minus 20 into 30 minus m is equal to 0. So m will be equal to 200 minus 600 clear and uh, uh, this will be 20 into this is not 10 this is not this is 40 because you can see 20 into perpendicular distance is 40 clear so this will give you 800 not 200 so so movement will be equal to 200 kip into inch which is you can see this is exactly the same which we have taken over here at the mid at this mid clear at somewhere here okay now you have this movement so you again you have this formula maximum bending movement is equal to maximum uh, man, maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending movement into c divided by i so 200 c is 2.75 divided by i which we have calculated like this so pi by 4 into 2.75 power 4 and from here you will get maximum bending stress is equal to 12.2 ksi so this is the way where we can solve this problem by using two methods and that was all about this problem 6-64 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section Thank you for watching.